This ancient Egyptian sarcophagus has been kept concealed for many years, but it will soon be brought back into the light for all to see. The exploration of a necropolis close to Cairo has been going on for some time, and the results of their labor are soon to become apparent. Hello viewers! In this video, we will talk about a dream discovery made by an archaeologist when they get lowered down into an Egyptian chamber. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates. Let's get started. An archaeologist unearths a dream in an Egyptian room. The sarcophagus had many shapes and lines. Since this is the latest find, the person buried here must have been important. A recent Saqqara archaeological investigation revealed an artistically decorated apartment that had been hidden inside a tomb excavated a year earlier. Saqqara is a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its architecture and cemeteries. The recently discovered tomb of Saqqara has two rooms and a grand gateway with stone portrayals of people's lives. Many tombs are like this. These enormous stone monuments symbolize Osiris, the Egyptian god of the dead and gateway to the afterlife. They symbolize life and death to their builders. Ramuses II, Egypt's second longest and wealthiest pharaoh in the 13th century BC, built the tomb and its decorations. Two archaeologists identify a third-party relationship with Ramuses II. After a week, someone had to walk this undiscovered road to remove the tomb. Dr. Alagasy was winched into a bucket after volunteering. After a terrifying drop, she found an undamaged coffin, a rare find as all Egyptian tombs had been robbed for ages. 3,200-year-old pink granite coffin archaeologists also value Tamwia. A translated news statement from Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities listed his titles on his sarcophagus. Smithsonian Magazine quoted Chicago Egyptologist Emily Teeter. Dr. Teeter says, Ramus' official documents reveal many things. Dr. El Lagasse and her colleagues will examine the tomb. Specialists worldwide praise their work. It has been given the name Discovery, and it seems likely that it will shed light on a very important time period in the history of ancient Egypt. Additionally, it may yet uncover other items. The various archaeological sites in Egypt that contain treasures are carefully investigated by archaeologists. A light flickers against the walls of a large edifice that is located in the sands, a couple of miles away from Aswan. The bustling tourism sector of southern Egypt is situated on the Nile River, close to the river's first rapids. The foundation of the project is the Aga Khan Mausoleum in Aswan. The team has been concentrating their efforts on the section of the catacombs grounds located in the north, where a series of rock-cut buildings cover up a cemetery. A famous Indian leader known as Ismaili Imam Muhammad Shah Khan was instrumental in the establishment of Pakistan. Since 1957, tourists have been able to view the mausoleum of the Aga Khan, which is located next to St. Simon's Monastery and is reminiscent of Cairo's Fatimid monuments. In April of 2018, a head depicting the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius was discovered in the vicinity of Kamembo Temple. This head was located on a swan. A few months later, a smaller sphinx was found to have been there all along. In February 2021, his descendants made some amazing discoveries when they unearthed a temple that belonged to the Ptolemaic period. Cartings of palm leaves were used as decoration on the building which also featured a Roman fort. The Mawa only explored a total of five acres, but the necropolis, which is a collection of tombs, covers a total of 25 acres. Images from satellites were able to locate 300 tombs, all of which will be mapped and investigated by the mission in 2019. There were at least 35 mummies inside of an exciting tomb. Colette Lanani, Italy's Minister of Antiquities and Patricia Piacentini, a famous Italian archaeologist, have both stated that the tomb held a range of people, including men, women, and children, including a mother and infant who were both in rather good health. However, a significant number of the other mummies had suffered severe injuries. The researchers were able to determine who was buried in the tomb 
because some of the bitumen that was used in the mummification process allowed them to do so. The tomb has offered up garbage as a sacrifice. The bones of rams, which represent the afterlife, have been found on pottery shards and hieroglyphic plates. The thieves had made their way back to antiquity, but they had abandoned approximately 20 mummies in the tomb. Archaeologists discovered the mummy of a toddler wrapped in paper matches as they excavated the site. X-rays revealed the presence of a plaque within the chest cavity of another infant, which was located in a burial part that was sunken into the rock above the room. It is believed that all 30 or so of the newly discovered mummies belong to the same family, and the children are merely two of them. There is a wide range of ages represented in the gallery, from little children to elderly people whose arthritis is still very evident in their joints. Other mummies have been preserved for thousands of years, despite having had their wrappings and cages cut. In both the AG-026 and the AG-032 tombs, the archaeologists discovered a knife in close proximity to the mummies. The following step was to examine 75 menol mummies to find out their ages, genders, and any diseases they may have had. The researchers found at least three groups that appeared to be families. In each of these groups, a mother, father, and son were all found lying next to one another. In addition to mummies, the archaeologists discovered a Clare stone sarcophagus that was in excellent condition and featured vivid colors. It is possible that the sarcophagus dates back to the conclusion of the pharaoh's reign and the beginning of the Roman era. There were five pots and portions of others preserved in the tomb. One of the vessels was a bowl that had been elaborately decorated using the La Barbatan method. This process involves applying a ceramic paste to the bowl before it is fired. The bowl was most likely intended for use in the afterlife by the person who was buried in the tomb. Mausoleum cemeteries were found during the excavation. According to Dr. P. Asantini, the research on the newly discovered structure is only getting started, so it is possible that she will be kept busy. This is especially true considering what she said to The Guardian in 2019 about how Egyptians are excavating even previously undiscovered regions, which is exposing fresh findings. That's it for today. What do you think about this incredible discovery? Let us know in the comments section. Please like and share our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates.